Yep, cannot wait for that performance from Brendan a little bit later in the show. He is phenomenal. And I think he would, might maybe have the physical chops to take on this next challenge because it's special. It's a little bit crazy, in fact. When our brave firefighters aren't tirelessly fighting fires in and around Cape Town, literally risking their lives, they are busy accomplishing just remarkable things. We see this every day. And in a display of their unwavering dedication and their craziness, the firefighters from the city of Cape Town fire and rescue rescue services, along with the volunteer wildfire, wildfire services, this beautiful family around us, have embarked on a truly extraordinary mission of running the Two Oceans Half Marathon to raise funds for VWS. Now, their ambition is to reach 400,000 rand, which sounds like no mean feat. And what makes their endeavor even more awe-inspiring is the fact that they will be running the marathon while donning their full firefighting gear. If you've ever put it on, you will understand. And joining us in studio this morning is Jermaine Carlsa, the divisional commander and spokesperson for the city of Cape Town Fire and Rescue Services, the craziest, craziest of the lot. Then we've got Ronaldo <laughs> Duncan, city of Cape Town firefighter from Sir Lowry's Pass. We've seen a lot of that lately in the news. Uh, then we've got Liam Gannon, volunteer wildfire services firefighter. So he had an excuse to jump out and he's still here. And then Steve Ackister, the volunteer wildfire Fire, services firefighter who looks so tired he might not even know why you're here this morning, but you're, running, you're running a half marathon my friend <laughs> um, no you guys look on it as you always do you look happy and inspired and in your space to be doing the kind of work that you you do especially now with the craziness of weather of what has happened over fire season which now seems to last the entire year pretty much um i'm gonna start with you jermaine are you in fact crazy what keeps you coming back for more because you've done this before yes i think this is the third time with uh, obviously with the gear now but we had to the uh, the first installment last year was just a phenomenal fire gear with the helmet on a warm-up yeah, that was a warm up. Now the sequel, I think it's uh, it's going to be even better. But I think we we are, the public should should know that we're doing this for VWS. And I said yesterday um, to donate is that it's, it's as easy as just updating your WhatsApp status. Really? You go into VWS's website, you navigate quickly, get onto the donation button, and then there you click. There That's you all there that you have to do at the end of the day. That's why you're the spokesperson. <laughs> it's, and it does. It's as simple as that. You can connect the dots in a very powerful way. Mm. It sounds great in the notion. It's wonderful to talk about these things and pat each <laughs> other on the back and look in the mirror and go, wow, I'm doing this. Then you've got to run a half marathon in your firefighting gear. How do you prepare for something <laughs> like this, Ronaldo? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> mentally, I suppose, yeah. 100%. I think that's the first thing that you need to get yourself mentally um, right for this. Um, last year, especially when we did it, I uh, started off very fast. And so main kept on to Ronaldo slow down because you get hyped <laughs> by the crowd. <laughs> and um, so mentally, definitely need to prepare it for correctly. Physically, I am an active firefighter, unlike Mr. Carlos here, uh, <laughs> operational. <laughs> okay, I, I, I think I have a similar role here in this particular team, so I get it, buddy. Don't worry. So yes, um, so I'm operationally fit, so that counted in my favour. It counts, still counts in my favour. But for this, I think Ms. Carlson mentioned it last week is the most that we've ever trained for any event because Brilliant. the normal, the gear that you will see later on, we use about 20 minutes uh, at an incident, and then we get a relief from that. Now we're going to use probably 10 times longer than we normally do. So we had to strengthen our cores, our back, our legs, just to handle that. But I picked about four kilos just preparing for this. So. Of, of confidence. And confidence, Whoa. I probably load Four more. kilograms <laughs> of, of fortitude. Amen. Uh, Amen. No, I, I've, I've done the gear, the full gear, and I've done the final little test that, mm. that you, you guys Amen. have to do in that. And it's, it's humbling, to say the least. I'll leave it there. It was one of the most <laughs> intense experiences. Liam, how you then know, yes, it's going to be tough, okay, but how do you prepare mentally for getting through something like this? Or is the fun you don't know how your body and your mind's going to react? How do you kind of put that in perspective? Well, I guess um, with what we do, there's kind of a beautiful misery in yes, um, suffering. Yes, I like that. And um, we find a lot of enjoyment in that. I think we're all adrenaline junkies. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is the kind of thing we search for and seek. Um, so it's pretty, pretty standard. It's, it's run of the more for us. Um, I love it because this is what you do. This yeah. is what you do yeah, when, when the call comes up. It doesn't matter if it's two in the morning. They say, come, we need you. You've got to do it because you're not doing this for yourself, are you, Steve? And why are you so motivated 
to do this. It's a community service. You know, everybody's got to give back. I mean, you've got to bring back something to your community. I mean, when I've seen, you, you watch the firefighters out on the mountain, you see what they're giving, they're committing to it, and particularly, and that's all the firefighters. You, you, the guys are actually committing, um, they're risking their lives to a certain degree, but at the same time, they're putting a massive effort in. And that's for their community, it's nobody else. You know? For us, it's a community-driven service, yeah. It's an amazing thing to see play out around us because we obviously have a front row seat working in media in the Cape to see how real it gets, mm -hmm. how quickly it gets. So these are moments that kind of take the edge of that, but they are just as important. So once again, I want you to reiterate, what do you need from us? What kind of snacks do you guys like on roadside? <laughs> if someone's running a banana, a boiled potato worked wonderfully for me. Uh, but what do you guys need? At the heart of this, how can we support you? I think the only thing that, that the public there could do, just go on VWS's website, you navigate down quickly, there's a donate button. There are custom amounts, um, custom amounts that you can choose from and preset amounts so that all that they can do, the listeners uh, the, and the viewers out there, just go donate because well, we're, not do we're doing this for volunteer wildfire services. I love it. And, and this is where balance is brought back to the force, where people understand what you mean to them, what you mean to them, and what all of you mean to us, which is massive. It is just really, really awesome. All I need is for you to please put Ryle through a little bit of this right now because he is the fittest, strongest guy that I know. And if he can stand up and oh, he looks good, uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. But um, from, from our family to the rest of your family, thank you so much for putting yourselves out there. And just good luck, man. Thank Absolutely you. Thank good you luck. Support, I, think, yeah. um, I think you're going to get a lot of support out there because you're going to be impossible to miss out on <laughs> um, And that's what we love. I love the fact that the firefighters and those volunteers that step up so many times yes get to have a little bit of fun but all of us get to understand the level of commitment and yes sacrifice that comes with that job and get to pay a little bit of that back but right now that's all blah 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 i want to see raul get put through his paces <laughs>